Greetings, traders out there in Traderland. My name's Dez here at Croc Trade. It's Wednesday, July 13th, 2011, and the markets are up. We have the Dow up 0.36%, the S&P up 0.31%, the NASDAQ up over a half a percent and the Russell small caps leading the charge up 0.87% quite bullish we have the banks up 0.97% leading all major indices however VIX volatility index creeped a bit higher we have gold up we have silver up US dollar down a big chunk down 1.06 percent Crude oil up 1.11%. We're knocking at the door $98 per barrel. And we have transportation index giving support to the Dow up here. And But we have a very low trend reading, which is quite bullish on the close. However, this could prove to blow up on us going into tomorrow's open. Now, speaking of tomorrow's open, pre-market, we have some major news coming out. We have retail sales reporting. We also have the PPI reporting, and then we have the initial claims, which is the jobless numbers from last week coming out. So that will prove to be uh, quite big of a morning, <laughs> and that can act as a nice catalyst. Move in the direction, markets one way or the other. Let me show you a couple things that I like uh, on the bullish side of things here. We did rally higher above all major moving averages. We have pulled back to some major moving averages, such as the 50 and the 100 day moving averages coming right here. We have the 20 day moving higher, and we have a the candlesticks getting smaller, and then today we had a pop and a drop. Now, this could be two type of reversal patterns. What two types could this be? Look at them. You could have a what's called a bullish harami and also an inverted hammer so we have an inverted hammer bullish harami so we do have a reversal pattern we have the macd histogram uh, we are above the histogram we have the macd getting ready to cross over it looks like yep and if it does cross over meaning we do go higher this should roll and head higher which would be quite nice for the markets however with that said, well, let me first say this. I picked up a number of longs going into the close today. And uh, there at the close, I picked up a bunch of longs. However, because of the news events coming out pre-market, I needed to be hedged. What's nice about hedging is it allows you to sleep at night. Furthermore, I would like to hedge with the the E-mini futures. The E-mini futures um, give me a lot of hedge for a small amount of money. And it allows me to hedge a significant amount of money um, quite easily. Now, with that said, I went ahead and got myself hedged because with the E-mini futures, I can add to the, uh, that hedge or take away from that hedge or completely take the hedge off pre-market. I uh, The futures trade 24-5, so I can trade those at any time which makes um, which makes things nice the flexibility is really really nice so I'm well protected and then when the news starts breaking tomorrow I could add to my hedge or take off of my hedge and um, it really gives me a step up uh, over everybody else who doesn't have that luxury of being able to trade you know pre-market so what I might, well, I am expecting now that we got back about the 1316, some sort of bullish activity. The only thing that I think that could draw this thing down, and it could be drawn down in a big way, huge red candlestick here, if the news that we get comes out unfavorable to the market. So there you have it. Hey, thank you for being a part, and thank you for sharing this with your friends. Send this URL to everybody out there. This is priceless information giving you a peek of what to expect going into the future. You want to make sure you're trading with the markets, not against it, because the markets, if you trade with the markets, that's like trading with the wind to your back. All right. Take care and very safe trading to you.